If he goes for my capital, that's good. But I think I'm just going to run him down to death. Or will I? No, I won't. Let's see what he does. If he just sieges up Bastar, that's fine. Not ideal, but... No, oh, that's what's going to happen to you then. <laughs> he tries to run, but uh, there's nowhere to hide. Oh, well, he can hide back home. Sorry, but there's nowhere to hide. <laughs> okay. What are we going to do then? I'm going to consolidate my units together, drop off the bare minimum, maybe with you guys as well, get you, get you back here so you can fully reinforce. I'm going to be paying over the odds for a wee bit, but then Ratanpur is going down. Got to keep the uh, elephant on screen, you know. Okay, so what happens now? Well, Patna only have Ratanpur as a friend, and Ratanpur, as we all know. Well, we don't. Oh man, the filters here! Amazing. Why did I think that was only in the internal build? Uh, Ratanpur actually have eight thousand units, which is a bit scary because I do not. And he's uh, tech parity with me. Also kind of scary. Do Patna have an army at all? Patna, they have nothing. It's a little scary, but what I can do still is make a couple more units. Two to be precise. And just ram him down. Ram him like mad. Ram him like I'm going to Valhalla. Gotta act fast. If Patna falls, then it's all uh, it's all to pot. What's this? Uh, I don't actually plan on sieging up Chanda fully right now. I need to get my units back and not dying. Uh, forget innovativeness. We're not going to know much of that over here. I rather think. Uh oh, this was not part of my plan. Gujarat dishonored with Jampur. Multan dishonored with Jampur. Jampur is getting attacked by Delhi. But for some reason you think you can't take them? Oh, Delhi have Tech 5. Tech 5 isn't everything, but Delhi is pretty strong. That is worrisome. That is very worrisome. Do you think you can take them? Tell me more. Delhi have 23,000. You have 20 something thousand. That tech difference is gonna hurt. But yeah, all your allies just bailed out. Ah, oh, well, Callahandy didn't yet. Jake, let a day pass, see which allies join. Looks like it's just Delhi. Kinda odd to me that Bengal wouldn't join in on that. But if Jampur lose hard, or more likely, Delhi just goes straight for me. That could hurt me more than anything. I would hurt my trust with everybody though. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. <laughs> There's a thing you say from time to time. It sounds like Fit Kinamandi. What the heck is that? It just, it just means what can a man do? Fit Kinamandi. What can a man do? And this is one of those Fit Kinamandi moments. Well, my choices are to accept or decline, and it's honestly a difficult one. The repercussions for declining are uh, pretty severe. The potential. Uh, retribution for accepting are uh, extremely bad though, like it would ruin this entire war going on down here. This would mean selling out Jampur, which shelves a lot of Arisen plans. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad to lose trust when rivaled to an ally's ally. Yeah, but the allied ally is going to go away. Right, I can't really afford this, so unfortunately I'm going to tank that trust loss. Goodbye, Jampur. I know, I'm scum. I can't be trusted. 
done a terrible thing today. Well, at the very least, I can get my army back up to full strength. And ra oh, Christ, there's almost nothing left of Patna. Mm, Patna have uh, an almost army there. Can I honestly run down Ratampur with what I have, though? Potentially not. Oh, well, hey, if Pat and I just want to kill themselves, that works for me as well. Okay, I don't have a lot more than uh, Raipur here, but it's probably worth jumping in on this. Because I have the opportunity to completely unite the area here. It's ballsy, but I gotta take this. Oh, he's handing it over to these guys. There might not be anything left of this country, but it's my easiest way to fight Ratampur here. I have good relations with you. I have so-so relations with you. That's all alright. Hopefully Chanda don't suddenly make an awesome army. Alright. I might as well make it for Patna. For glory. As expected, they joined in. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of okay. Are you really going to fight me there? He is? That's not good for me because he's going to get a good defender bonus here. Well, the die is cast. Oh, that's a bad shock roll. A very bad shock roll. But that's a very good shock roll. Phew. I let a day pass so you won't be recruiting anything. And then I'm going to hunt you down and kick your ass. I have to. I have no choice. I have to win this. Unfortunately, he's going to get uh, everything back right there. Six and two. Eight and two. So I do flank him properly. This should kill him. It doesn't kill him? Well, this should kill him. We'll get the killing done. Don't you worry. Alright, kind of worked out, kind of didn't. I was hoping he wouldn't take this land. However, a lot of things have opened up for me here, so that's alright. There, that makes uh, not taking the... Um, not taking that war earlier the best decision I could have made. And I made it. Uh, what I'm also going to do is consolidate my forces together because I simply don't have the units for this. And Haramir is going to have to take down Chanda. Kind of solo. As if I would forget my siege general. What do you take me for? I swear sometimes you guys treat me like a complete casual. Don't know where you get it from. Uh, again, consolidating my units together because I am way over force limit. And those extremely generous subsidies won't last forever. I'm still too over force limit, but I'll have to do. Uh, yeah, this is okay. Uh, this is better than okay. It's not half bad. So Chanda will fall. Patna will fall. Basically, I become king of the Garjatis and Gondis. And that was all through utterly sublime use of diplomacy. Gonna pat myself on the back until it hurts, you know. Gonna keep better relations with Andra and Vichy because they might be looking at me going, there's the guy that was such a scumbag and he sold out, you know, he sold out one big ally, what's he gonna do for the other? Especially when that said other ally is having pretender rebels. And our good friend Bahman is his, uh on tech 5 when they're on tech 4. Why does this situation feel so familiar? I can't put my finger on it. Well, let's roll on the Chanda stuff. They're just going to get completely consumed by me. No reason not to. Delicious. And uh, that land is core is a core, as they say. I don't know who says that. What will I do? What will I do? Probably just get you there and merge all units together and see what happens. That's what a fool would do. Um, I 
with all this land, my force limit should pop up at least by a little bit. Well, I'll have to take it all first. Excellent. Hey chat, hey Jake, is this the first stream of the post-Dharma release campaign? That's right, barcode. I was sitting on it for a while, but I knew we'd get there. Also, Orissa just cons completely consumed another country. They weren't satisfied with Bengal, they went for their uh, dessert as well. And they will be coming for me, look at that. Orissa is domineering towards me, which is scary stuff. I want and need to kill them, but I just sold out one of my best uh, allies for doing so. Uh, I mean, Vijayanagar and Andhra both hate them. If they attack me, then I have this backup. However, I would not be able to sustain a uh, an Orissa Bahmani incursion. And unfortunately for me, they are, well, not mutually friendly, but Orissa likes ba uh, Bahmanis way too much. I need Bahmanis gone. And I could almost make that happen. Shame my dip rep down, went down the toilet. Still, that's the thing I need to be shooting for. Wait, why would Delhi give up alliances here? Ah, uh, Bengal is under attack from Koch of all nations. But Koch have a laundry list of allies, which they're not calling in, so they must really think Bengal's gonna die here. Jampur isn't quite holding back Delhi, but they do occupy Delhi. Only for now, though. Okay. Patna's down. I'm not going to make peace with them yet, though, because uh, Ratapur needs to die. Now, Ratapur is 13 development of non co belligerent land, so I'm not going to make any friends doing this. However, I'm not exactly the hottest piece of ass on this block, so I should be able to take it without anybody noticing. Arissa is indeed Hindu. Yeah, it's not impossible that they could be a good ally to me, but I want this coastline, alright? This land is dirt poor. Nobody wants it. That's why I'm kind of so safe. Nobody really wants it. I thought we were Patna's colour. Oh god, says Barkett. No, we are we are Kelahandi here. It's a really weak colour, isn't it? It doesn't stand for anything. Hang on, why am I not using the Siege General that I was all high and mighty about definitely using? Probably because I thought Ratampur would go down faster than Patna. How naive I was. Let's get that elephant out of there, they don't deserve this attrition. I'm not up for cheesing off people around me. In fact, making Arissa like me more? That is pretty worthwhile. So here's the thing, my, uh, my General won't arrive for a little bit longer. It's kind of worth it to delay this uh, siege by a few days just to get him there and and be disappointed. Christ, that one that couldn't have gone worse. That actually could not have gone worse. More people arrived to eat that uh, disease outbreak. Bahmanis, you have troops running around, but it's just Gujarat. Gujarat running away from his uh, country, burning down. It's actually one of the main AI things that we were tackling there. AI just abandoning their country when uh, things are going nay say good. State limit is not a pain for me, so I am going to uh, full core and probably get rid of that autonomy because I don't want to be dealing with it. And also think about who I'm going to give it to. Extra force limit really appeals to me because I'm hurting on that front. But on the other hand, the Jains make my, uh, make my economy go round. Even if my, I mean, manpower at this stage. Eh. Eh. And a bit more eh. Give it to me. I need the money more than anything. And there we go. The land is mine. The world is mine. Yeah, the aggressive expansion might seem pretty harsh, but let's be realistic here. It's mostly going to be with Hindus. A lot of these guys are not Hindu. And it's going to be in this fairly isolated culture group, which most of these guys don't really even belong to. They just hold the land for it. So Ratampur is going down, and I'm taking all their money. Thank you, please. That's another uh, another area for me. And Patna, of course, as well, is going down, and nobody cares. What's that scene with this fat guy in a big shirt saying, uh, nobody cares? Because that's how I'm feeling right now. It's all mine, and nobody cares. 
And also I consumed a bunch of my rivals there. It wasn't the biggest provinces, so it's not the hugest of uh, power. But what little I have, I will be projecting. The land is mine. The force limit is now not completely god-awful. It's up by one. So I'll take that. And as soon as we do that, our new neighbor, Jarkand, have decided that we are uh, complete scum and are labeling us their enemy. Malwa. Let's talk Malwa. They are only allied to the uh, the regional power of Nagur. Don't mock them. They got double the land now, and I thought they had uh, an extra core. They do not. They used to just have one province, if memory serves. I should know. I played a campaign as them. I also have a bigger border with Bachmanes, which means they're more likely to be a pain in my bits. I think your attitude changed. I totally could have gotten Andra in on this war previous. Uh, Vigianagar, though, have managed to get their uh, military tech up. They've really got to deal with those rebels. I really suck at fighting rebels. Now, Orissa grow ever powerful. They gained another ally, Tripura, not the meatiest of people, but my... My list of targets have shrank rather than grown here. Jarkand is not a tempting target. In fact, the fact that they're allied with Batman is putting them right in my border is cause for concern, one could say, and I will say. Money is good, so I'm actually going to start drilling under Haramir. He might actually get better at what he does, too. Since Random New World is an old thing, people still use it, right? Can we also get Random World? As a whole, huh. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it, but uh, it hasn't evolved past the thought phase. Is Jampur still giving subsidies? Jampur is a good man. They know uh, they know a good deal when they see it. I think they're just trying to prove that they can win a war against Delhi whilst surrounded by people that hate them even oh i wish i hadn't started talking uh, subsidies for Gianagar decided i'm just not worth it either that or they started really putting in the effort into crushing their rebels and decided they needed that money themselves whatever the case i'm glad those rebels are dead i hope they get their army back together and continue to be a bulwark against bahmanis because bahmanis is terrifying to me look at the size of them and the fact that they're not going to war right now they have an awesome leader who's a diplomat with a pretty decent heir on the way. Uh, okay, long live Devaraya II because their uh, successor is not too hot. Hmm. Okay, I need to I need to think hard about that one. I'm actually running a deficit now without that sweet money coming in, but it's not a lot of it. So until the day that Jean Pour decide I'm not worth the money. We'll keep this going. At least we'll have an army that uh, doesn't die on impact. Bachmanes are going after Gujarat. This could be what I need. It isn't though, because Gujarat don't have any friends. This is just an easy war for Bachmanes. Or is it? Gujarat still have Kandesh as a subject. They're not any better in tech than myself and Vijayanagar. Yarkand are easy money. The trouble is Andra. Andra really don't want to get in the, involved in the war, and the extra 10,000 troops would make a real difference. Let us consider the size of you and... Why, why can I not spell? Why, why can I not spell at all? Oh, it's because Bachmanes is not an ally. There we go. Bachmanes are looking at 25k. And they're probably about to suit up and boot up. Vigianagar just fought a whole lot and probably don't have a lot of manpower. Uh, uh, <laughs> Death as well, but trust me, they're really going to want uh, Bachmanes dead. Do you also still have your subject there? Yeah, you've got Jaffna would come on in. The lack of Andra is still a bit concerning. But what I could do is I could bum rush Jarkand, get them out, knocked out of the picture. I mean, I'd only have to occupy a couple of provinces. I don't need to annex their land, although if, if I can, I will. And it's likely that you're going to be busy with some of this too. 
It's honestly the best opportunity I'm going to have to fight Bachman is I should take the opportunity while it's ripe. Vijay and Vijay and you, and there's nothing I can really do about Andra. Tell me about the lands you want though. Okay, it's a lot of the land. Um, it just so happens that I also want Golconda. I hope that isn't a deal breaker for you. And let's be honest, what's the point in taking land if you don't take the whole area? What I really need to take are the forts away from him, so he's not such a big uh, pain to fight later. But realistically, you know, I get these two provinces and that's my lot. But I can at least say that I want this. And then when I'm declaring war, at least I'll be able to go for it myself. Do you have another uh, enemy that I could very temporarily make a friend? I mean, okay, Malwa are busy slaughtering other people. And there's no way they're interested. They got a lot of diplo relations going on. Hmm. Yeah, this is Bahmani's first real war, so they are fresh. Vijayanagar is very not fresh. If I got my forces together with them, though, that would be a different story. Alright, what we'll do is we'll let them run their course a little bit. What I should do is not be drilling, though. If I want to jump on you, I should be doing it with uh, full morale, ready to rock and roll. Oh, full scrub, Joel Seer. Looks like Vijayanagar can still get all their manpower back, though. Ah, bollocks. I just went to war with Cotty. I let my ultimate uh, ultimate opportunity drop there. They would still want this war, but... Uh, I missed that boat. I missed that boat hard. Well, best case scenario for me is that they destroy Cotty in no time flat, but that's a coastal fort to deal with. Mm, hang on, those generals. 234, 422. That's pretty good. What isn't so good for me is Bachman is just running rampant here. They're even. Uh, yeah, Surat is down. They haven't taken anything that's fortified, but let's face it, this war is already over. Uh, whilst the Bachmani army. It's only 23,000. Vijayanagar have quite a bit more than that at almost 30. Hmm. Alright, please take down Kotti super fast so that I can pull you into this, uh, this war that I'm sure you don't really want. Even if I promise you that, you're now uh, heavily in debt. But it's worth it to knock the wind out of Bahmanes nice and early. My trouble is getting Andra involved. Uh, I could use Prepare for War, but that would take a couple of years. And even then, I think it's only plus 20 rather than uh, plus 30 or 40. And yeah, Vijay is in beast mode, so I'm very happy for them. But still, they need to... Uh, I need to get rid of Cotte so that I can strike. Strike while the iron is boiling hot. Baking hot. Extremely hot, you know what I'm saying. Uh, another thing that's getting in my way is this. Goes away in 61, August 61. Here's a question. Are Bachman is going to finish their war before then? It's possible. Very possible. Oh, I like that. You gave the land uh, to Jaffna, you're vassal feeding. You're a very clever cookie, aren't you, Vijayanagar? Has somebody hot joined into my game and is playing as them? Because this is player level of uh, being pretty good. I don't want to get too carried away at praising them, but uh, that's, that's impressing me. What's not impressing me is the dismissal of most of your army, though. That I could have done without you doing. Uh, what do we have? Money lenders. How dare they call in debt? Several prominent Vaisha guilds have accumulated substantial debts to the Jain banking. Surely you should have to pay it back, but the Jain influence is really high. 
I don't mind the James actually losing a bit of influence, especially since uh, I don't take loans. So, uh, yeah, forgive the debt. Vaishas will be pretty happy, and they'll actually have, you know, they offer me a lot better stuff than the, the Janes do here, so that's alright for me. It's also the question of all this land, I need to state it up so it actually does something for me. Oh, I managed to clear all that corruption, that's awesome news. And we get ever closer to reforming into a horde. So, a uh, martial society, or a civil society. You know, the manpower really speaks to me here in the early game, but the corruption reduction, especially if I'm going to go full horde, is just... Mm. And also, it all speaks to me. I don't think we're going to have manpower problems in the future, truth be told. So, oh man, that's not an easy one. One is useful now, the other is useful later. <laughs> okay, let's think of it now. Jake, what's the strange map game that you're playing? It's uh, the newest map that they put into Monster Hunter World. It's pretty good, right? We're currently stalking a Bachmanis. I need to carve his gems. Oh, I want this, but they don't want this. <laughs> the trust is hurting, the war exhaustion is hurting, Andra's very existence is hurting. I'd be able to get Andra in soon enough, though. Wow, jump got they're almost the shape I was when I played in the Dev Clash, it was so sad. Oh yeah, I've heard about uh, Horde Polands before. I mean, there is the other option of going into Orissa, and I do want that Orissan land. However, it all comes with complications. God, I need Andra there. If I just had that uh, that extra favor, I don't. But if I had it, then all would be pretty sublime. Uh, again, I have this land here, which isn't doing me too much because the autonomy is fairly high, and it's going to get a lot higher when I increase it um, because I simply can't be handling revolts at my tiny size. Truly tiny. And I am very tempted to hand it all over to the Jains, but the Brahmins, they're pretty good for, well, for a bunch of reasons. But the tax, oh, well, actually, the tax in Raipur is pretty high. That seems worth it, if anything. Their influence goes sky high. Their loyalty actually also goes pretty well. That's fine. I'll give that to you. The Jains can have the other two. Especially since here's where the, the better trade goods are. Hopefully I didn't just screw over everything, but I don't think I did. Hmm. Jake, will you add more government reforms? I like the system a lot, but I want more options, more different ways of playing and role playing. And after a while, if you want to flip government type, the reform points are a bit useless. I can't really say if this is what we're going to do, especially here and now on my own personal streams, but uh, I can say that I do want to do that. That doesn't give the game away, does it? Not in my head, Canon. <sighs> Come on, old Jake wouldn't be hesitating on that, but 23,000 against my 8 is uh, scary, especially when I only have 19,000 over in Vijay. Vijay would pull out all the stocks in this, but I'm pretty sure Bahmanis has deeper pockets. And Malwa... Malwa still have too many reasons not to help me out here. <laughs> there go Bengal again, says Traffic Cone. No, no, you see Bengal just uh, became double Bengal. There's a word for this when something splits into two. I forget what it is. Performing s s s something. Hmm. You sound under the weather, Jake. Oh, I'm not. I'm. Uh, I'm actually doing really fantastic today. Uh, unlike Vijayanagar, suddenly glad I didn't pull you into that war because now you're going to eat a whole load of rebs. 
Actually, it could be that Bachman is want to attack me and they're seeing 